Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if this is your first time here. Today we're doing the first check-in in my 2023 project pan. If this is your first time here, I will link the intro to this project pan up in the eye so that you can go back and watch it from the beginning if you would like to. If you are caught up, then let's get into seeing what progress I have made in the first month of my new project pan. I will start with my perfume. So as you can see from these markings, it started here and it is now here. So as I said in the intro, the issue I have with this perfume is that this is the see-through bit, this is obviously not see-through and this bit at the bottom is not see-through. Now I am presuming the perfume does not actually go all the way from here all the way down to the bottom because it is a big perfume, it's 175ml but like that would be massive. So I'm presuming the actual holder for the liquid is not the full length of this. So what I am hoping, and it's not yet happened, is that now that we have got from here down to here, so it's gone below this, is that I will be able to start tracking it on this new piece of washi tape by holding it upside down and seeing it coming back down the way. But as you can maybe see, it's full at the moment, so I've not yet kind of got to a point where I can start marking this washi tape. But I'm hoping by the next month that we will be at a point where I can start marking this tape. So that is the plan. An update that I'm slightly less excited about is my L'Oreal Infallible Foundation. Now if you have looked in the description boxes of most of my videos in February, you will know I have been wearing this and I've been wearing it quite a lot and I'm actually really enjoying it so don't get me wrong. I'm actually not desperate to be finished it, I'm wearing it today. I really, really like how it looks on the skin. But in the introduction, this weighed 34 grams and weighing it this morning, it weighs 32 grams. That indicates that I've used two grams of product and I definitely feel that I should have used more just with how often I've been using it. As I say, I am enjoying using it. I'm actually not in a rush to be finished with it. I am enjoying using it more than I actually thought I would be enjoying using it so it's been really nice from that point of view to sort of rediscover this product and realise that in my mind I didn't think I liked this this much but actually I'm quite enjoying it. It's almost quite reminiscent if anyone remembers Laura Mercier Silk Cream Foundation and the sort of hype around that. I feel like this is quite similar to that foundation and obviously this is a much more affordable version of that. So I am really really enjoying using it, I'm not desperate to have it finish up. But I did think I would get more than two grams of reduction, but it is what it is, that's what we've managed and we'll see what I get next month. Since I've got my notebook with my weights out, let's do the other product that I'm weighing, which is my Origins Charcoal Mask. Now this went from 56 grams to 52 grams, so I reduced this by four grams. I was really not very well for the majority of January so my skin was really quite dried out so I've not been as oily as I usually would be so I feel like I've only actually used this once but if I use 4 grams of product every time I use it and it's started at 56 grams obviously the packaging accounts for some of that grammage so if I was to use 4 grams a month for another 10 months after this in total I would have used 44 grams starting at 56 that leaves me 12 grams that might account for the packaging. So I feel like actually, even if it did only go down about four grams a month, I would probably still be on track to finish it by the end of the project. So I'm not too worried, but I do actually think I'll get, obviously, as the warmer weather comes in, I'll be more oily. I think I'll start being more oily from here on out now that I am not unwell. So hopefully I will have more cause to use this and will get through it by the end of the project as planned. Because my skin was quite dry because I was unwell, I actually finished the mini that I had of the Fresh Rose Serum, which means that I have moved on to using this. And I actually didn't think I would really have any significant update on this by the first update because I thought I'd be finished. Well, I knew I would be finishing the mini first, but I thought it would take me longer to finish. But I suppose I hadn't really been betting on my skin being as dehydrated as it was because I hadn't been well and that kind of lingering, you know, after you actually start feeling better but your skin takes a little while to catch up. I kind of had that. Um, so I have actually used this. It's not a huge reduction, but given I didn't think there would be any movement on this by the first update, I am very, very pleased to say that the mini will be in my February empties 
and we have made a start on this one so I'm excited to see where we go for the rest of the year. This will be kind of the flip side to I think as I'm getting more use out of the Origins mask I'll probably be using this less and less as my skin gets more oily as the year goes on but I do really enjoy using it. I'm happy it's in the project and that I will concentrate on using it a little bit more than I might otherwise do. On to the hair care products that are in this project. First of all, my Nectar Thermique from Kerastase. This is a heat protectant um, and I've used like a fair amount of that. If I use that amount every single month, I'll have this out by the end of the project. So it's been kicking around in my collection for donkey's years. I got it when I was going to a hair salon that was in Princess Square in Glasgow that is now shut down and after I left that salon I was going elsewhere in the city centre and I've now moved to another new hairdresser so this was like three hairdressers ago probably back when I was in uni or maybe even before then so yeah I've had this for about 100 years basically is what we're saying so if I get this out through having it in the project I will be so pleased. The other hair product that I have is my hair oil. Tiny little bit of movement. I kind of had been hoping for a little bit more, especially as, um, as you can see, this bottle kind of tapers towards the top. So this first month has been, whilst it's still slightly been tapering, so as we get more into the sort of body of the bottle, it's a wider circumference, so the product's going to go down even slower. Not sure how I'm feeling about that one, but I did say I knew that there was a possibility I wouldn't finish this within the project, so we'll just keep using it, being consistent, and see where we end up with it. And that leaves me with the last three items to go through. All three of these are makeup items. So first of all, I've got the L'Oreal Infallible Fixing Spray, so you can see my markings on the washi tape there. Like the oil, not a huge reduction, but if it goes down by that every single month, I will definitely have this finished within the project. So as long as that happens, I'll be happy. I had quite a good movement on my primer. So this is the Chanel Le Blanc de Chanel. If you've been looking in the description boxes of my recent videos, this has been my primer. I've got it on today. I think it gives a really beautiful luminous quality to the skin so I am wearing that today underneath this foundation which is quite a matte foundation so you can see how it looks on my skin my skin doesn't look too matte and um, you know it's definitely got a sort of luminosity to it but it doesn't look super oily or wet so really enjoying these as a combination to be honest and I quite like this on my skin even on days when I don't want to do a full foundation and whatever just putting this on sort of perks it up and gives it a bit of radiance so really been enjoying using this glad that i've actually put it in the project and got back into using it regularly and a reasonable little reduction there so if i was to do that every month i would definitely have this finished within the project which is the main goal and then for my last item which is from my hourglass palette it is my blush i have set a usage goal on this i want to use it 100 times within the project and in this first month, I have used it seven times. In fact, this is not my last product, sorry. I've got my highlight to do as well. So penultimate product, actually. So I'd used this seven times that I have marked. I've kept my tallies in the back. Now, I do, full disclaimer, think that I have used it on days when I've forgotten to mark it. So I think there's possibly been more than seven actual uses of this, but I'd rather just go with what the tally marks say rather than thinking, I think I've used this a few more times and marking it off like what the tally marks say is what we're going to use as the official record because that way if I've used it some more than that and used it and forgotten to mark it then that's like a bonus use um, but yeah so 7 out of 100 down uh, 93 to go and we'll see what progress we make on this blush within 100 uses I would like to hit pan whether that's realistic or not I don't quite know but we shall see And then the last product that I was nearly doing you out of there is my Charlotte Tilbury highlight from my Filmstar Bronze and Glow. No real discernible change at the moment. I wasn't really expecting there to be a discernible change. This is my third highlight that I've put in a project pan. So I know from experience highlight is not one that you move through particularly quickly. Now I did say, despite knowing that, I did say in my intro that 
because this is quite a big square pan and it's 3.5 grams of product which is actually less product than I had in the highlight that I had in last year's project pan. I was hoping between it being slight... Oh, my cat wants in. She's now in the room so if you hear any cat noises for this last item... Yes! Here she is. Here's Sansa. She does not look happy to be picked up. Isn't she the cutest though? She does Okay, so cat interlude aside, although I am now covered in cat hair. So it's quite a big pan and it's less product that I had in last year's highlight that I put in my project pan. So I was kind of hoping that it was going to be a slightly shallower pan to actually hit pan on as such. But I looked, my friend Lauren had this in her project pan last year and Lauren is a much more consistent panner than me. She gets results much more quickly than me and I'm sure she won't mind if I put her picture up. I was having a look through her project pan updates and I think it was August last year between January and August for her to hit pan in this. I think she was quite good at like using the same spot to try and get the pan rather than I tend to just as you can probably kind of see from the way the imprint is wearing off I just swirl my brush around in it. I feel like maybe I was being slightly ambitious when I was talking about this in the intro saying that if I hit pan I would maybe do a side pan go or roll it out to roll something else back in. I'm not sure how quickly we're going to get that pan if Lauren took eight months to get it but that is where we are just now. I'm really enjoying using this. I'm actually really enjoying using this bronzy side which I didn't expect to at all so I've got no complaints. I'm not going to be bothered if this is in the project the whole year. Obviously I would like to get the pan so I'm hoping it won't be in the project the whole year and not hitting pan but as long as I hit pan I'm not bothered about getting to a point where I have a side pan or I'm rolling it out to roll something else in. I just do want to hit pan and maybe I was thinking that was going to be easier than it actually will be but however long it takes I'm enjoying using it. I'm glad I've got it in the project and we'll just see how long we have to work on it for. So that is everything for this update. Thank you very much for watching it. If you like project pan content, I did three project pans last year and I have put them all into one big playlist. So I will link that up on the end card and you can go watch my main 2022 project pan plus my 13 by Halloween and my 12 pans of Christmas. I do intend to do 12 pans of Christmas again this year. So do make sure you've hit subscribe if you haven't already and you like project pan content because there will be more of it coming your way. Thank you very much for watching this video and I will see you in the next one. Bye!